Hello everybody, welcome to another episode of Cape Rugby TV. We uh, can rush to you under rather difficult uh, circumstances tonight. It is of course the lockdown in effect and uh, we are reaching out to um, our fans and friends of Cape Rugby TV and West Bromwich Club Rugby um, uh, during these uh, difficult times. Big thanks to our partners on board with us, Direct Access, your financial services partner, Score Energy Drinks, official partner to Western Province uh, uh, Club Rugby and of course the, the Western Province Club Rugby Sevens, Yes Electrical down on Fort Trekker Road, Thorburn uh, Security and of course Intercape, the um, official partner, transport partner to Western Province Rugby and the DHL Stormers. Tonight we'll catch up with a number of fans of, uh, or at least uh, friends and fans of uh, Western Province Club Rugby. Um, we'll be crossing to them via Skype or via one of our digital mediums. So it'll be a little bit of a stop-start type show, but nevertheless reaching out to our um, coaches and clubs and some of the players that are remaining active in this uh, space. But folks, uh, let's uh, get the ball rolling. He's no stranger. Uh, to um, Cape Rugby TV. In fact, he joined us for our very first show ever. It's uh, none other than um, the coach at um, Albion's, Ashwin Sprague. Hi, JP. Thanks. Um, what a privilege to be back on the show, eh? Uh, it's been a long time. Um, thanks for having me. I'm looking forward to the show tonight. Well, it's a little bit different. I mean, uh, we've got to ask you, where have you been? You were, you know, it's now 10 years. Can you believe it? It's 10 years of, of Cape Rugby TV. Um, and I was just looking back at some of the footage of the show uh, a, a few days ago. Um, and I looked at episode one and there was yourself and Muneeb Levy and Mr. Herman Abrams on the very first show. It's been a long time. It, it's been, it's been, it's been 10 years. Um, thinking back now, the good old days, eh? Um, we've come so far, modern technology allowing us to be in the presence of our homes during this difficult time to be able to put up a show to to the viewers out there uh, it's great um, and uh, yes like i said earlier on it's great to be back james thanks for having me eh? so just tell us a little bit when we when you when we first interviewed you when you first joined us on the show and you used to come on quite a regular basis i mean that's 10 years ago you were coaching at Belaha at the time um where have you where have you been uh, since then well uh uh, well, when we when the, the first show that we did, uh, like you said, we were I was involved at, at Bella Rugby Club. Um, spent a few years there. Um, from there, I went on to um, Mr. Abrams's Abrams's club, um, City's Temperance, um, out in Athlone, um, where I had a stint there. And then um, I took a two-year sabbatical. Um, that was my time off from rugby. Um, spent some time with the family um, and the business. And yes, now back. Back at Albion's, um, and and uh, how are you finding things there? Uh, back at Albion's, what a great club, what a great community club. Um, the support, um, the systems, um, the executive, the players, the coaching staff, what a great atmosphere. Um, yeah, it's just great being being at a club that, that, that has all these things in place and all the yeah. uh, policies and procedures, uh, great stuff. Albion certainly does seem to have a good structure. I mean, we've, Albion's been doing really well in their uh, in the in the leagues, and um, we see these big matches between Albion's and some of the PAL rivals. Especially last year, we we saw that big derby at Forest Street. Um, it it looks like it's a lot of fun. In, indeed, JP. Um, you, you know, in, in communities, um, you have in PAL the region, you have quite a few clubs and um, playing against each other. Um, it's, it's a huge atmosphere. This year was my first experience when um, Albion's took on um, young people's. Um, what a great match. Um, the support, the people. And you know what? Derby's typical. Bragging rights in town. Um, this year we lost it to, to people's and kudos to them. Um, but yes, they will definitely know that we're back next year to defend um, bragging rights in town. Um, just from a resource point of view, um, Ashwin, um... Do you have a lot of players to draw on? Uh, is it a big pool? Currently, we have we have a good pool of players. Um, Paul, surprisingly, Paul is people think it's small, but there's an abundance of talent players um, from the area. So don't don't be don't be uh, don't think there's not enough players in Paul itself. So yes, we we, we draw from from all over in Paul. Um, some clubs in Wellington, um, 
yes, for some areas in Wellington. We know that the guys are having a difficult time at the moment. The lockdown, of course, for for players that are so passionate and, 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 and love the fact that they can come to a training session on a Tuesday and a Thursday and play their rugby on a Saturday. Um, your guys are nevertheless staying active. Yeah, JP, difficult and testing times at the moment. You know, um, nobody expected this and, and it's been it's been disappointing from a player and a rugby point of view. But um, be sure that um, Albion supports, number one, the government SA Rugby and Western provinces um, support um, or fight against uh, this epidemic. Um, so yeah, the guys, we've, we've issued the guys with individual programs before we lock down and, and we're monitoring them uh, daily um, where the guys need to submit um, videos of, of their training sessions uh, and what they do to keep busy and yeah. Well, we do have um, a video here that we're going to have to show you um, of your of your guys. Let's take a look at the video and then talk us through it. Um, Ashwin, um, we're going to have to obviously have a chat there about uh, some of those guys. You wouldn't have... Uh, just t talk us through the video there. Tell us who's in the video. Um, what are the guys up to? Uh, we'll start first off with Carlisle Lawrence um, doing doing some some um, basic exercises with, with the help of basic things. Um, like I said earlier on, the guys don't always have the, the, the tools, the, the weights and... and, and and uh, equipment. Um, so we've, we've, we've managed to guide them and direct them to use the things around home. Carla using a tire, um, using yeah, bricks yeah. as a stepping. So yeah, the basic things that we have at home. Now, obviously with, with gyms being locked down as well, we don't have access to those equipment. Yeah, very tricky, um, very difficult, yeah. Very, very, very difficult. Um, the second video or the second clip is, uh, is really um, bringing some some hard yards in his, in his yard. Um, a small patch of grass, utilizing it, um, doing shuttles, and on the steps, even involving the family. So lockdown is not that bad. Involve the family and some family time as well, getting them active as well. Um, are, you, are, you, and the yeah. are you guys reaching out to the players? Are you in regular co contact with them? Yes, yes, we might be under a lockdown, but um, social media is not under lockdown. So we've yeah. created a, a WhatsApp group um, where all our players um, we stay in contact with them, we, we reach out to them, we, we motivate them, we uh, do our daily prayer and, and you know, um, Bible verse, keep them motivated and, and we monitor their progress. Oh, that's fantastic. Um, Ashen, we are going to have to leave it there. Um, we're going to keep reaching out to you and hopefully we get you on the live stream with us well and we can get a couple of Q&A members of the public can ask you some questions and your players can probably join us as well. So we look forward to catching up with you again. Thanks, JP. And once again, thanks for having me on the show. Great. All right, folks, that's, of course, Ashwin Sprague. There is head coach at, um, at Albion's. And for those of you that don't know, Ashwin was our, one of our very first guests. Not one. Well, there were three guests with me on that day. Herman Abrams, Munib Levy, and Ashwin Sprague on the very first ever Cape Rugby TV show. When we come back from the break, we'll continue our conversations with our friends of Western Bromers Rugby um, here on Cape Rugby TV. Back in a sec. Well, welcome back, everybody. Cape Rugby TV, and we talk about what's happening in the world of Western Women's Club Rugby. And crossing to me now is um, Ashley McKay, is of course uh, from the Western Women's Rugby Referee Society. Uh, Ashley, how are things going on your side? Currently, we're missing the game, you know, without a doubt. You know, the referees are, you know, uh, speaking to one another and they are missing the game. And yeah, we just can't wait for lockdown to to end a difficult time of course but if we look at referees i mean you guys are a resilient bunch um yeah. uh, from what i understand uh, the referees are all working now harder than than well i wouldn't say harder than ever before but certainly <laughs> putting in the time to to study the laws and the rules and you've been doing conference calling and all sorts of things yes that's right you know um we've got uh, quite a lot of coaching taking place referees are 
you know, um, doing uh, training at, at home, in our training. We've got uh, one of our referees, Clint Jacobs, who has actually gone online, you know, with a uh, online session via Skype, and he's a biokineticist, so he helps the referees quite well um, in achieving what they need to. Um, actually, uh, one of the big drives, of course, over the last few years has been re referee recruitment. Um, and we've seen Western Province Rugby come out with campaigns um, that you can join up. We had Ben Teron on the show not, you know, a few weeks ago talking about the benefits of joining um, and, and, and staying involved with the game. Is, is that one of your, your current um, goals? Yes, most definitely. You know, the Western Province referees, are uh, they do not have, we need to be honest, and we say we do not have enough fit referees to go out there on a Saturday. And hence, you know, the big drive in getting people um, their knowledge up to date and their fitness levels up to date as well. Do you think that now yeah. is a good time to, to begin the process? Yes, most definitely. You know, we, um, we're looking at doing uh, a level one as soon as lockdown is completed, you know, and then we can meet to do a level one uh, World Rugby education course and that is for our new referees so definitely you know and you know we can just explore you know what they need to do and how they go about it to in preparation for these courses just tell us a little bit about that so if i'm a referee and i want to become i want to come uh, to the to the course i've got to do a world rugby uh, uh, online um component first well how does that work all right it, let's let's start at the beginning there jp um they've got to register online right all right uh, on the when they do their registration they I'm create make their notes now I'm, I'm writing yeah. this down okay <laughs> <laughs> right. i write it down okay <laughs> okay um like i said they they go ahead and they do the online registration they create a profile for themselves as a referee on the online website that is on world rugby online you know then there are certain tests that we require them to do you know the uh, rugby ready you got to do the rugby ready test the introduction to match officials yeah and the introduction to the laws of the game those are the three main components that we need you to do before anything else takes place you know, once that uh, once you've done that, there's a certificate that gets printed out for you. You need to send that certificate to the office. Um, you mail mail it to Benteron, and his email address is Benteron at Western Province at wprightby.co.za. Once Ben is in possession of those certificates, now we can see how many people we need you know, or how many causes we need to, to, to set up, Yeah. you know, yeah, yeah, yeah. and our, our, our trainer, we've got a special team of people who's led by Mornay Corbel, and they do the training of these uh, courses. Are these, so, are these online courses difficult to do? Is it, is it easy enough? And, and, and is it for everybody? I mean, if I want to coach kids seven or eight years old, anybody can go and do it and come and join up with us. You know, once you've done these online assessments, as I refer to them, yeah. you know, I don't like to say the test, but more of an assessment, you know, and you actually upskill yourself with rugby by doing these assessments, okay. you know, so it, it, it helps you in the long run. And yeah, once we get to the, the, the actual course, the level one course, that is when Mornay and his team, they take over and they to a, a, a more broader uh, uh, component of that. And how long? How long from the time? Because I think, I mean, everybody who wants to become a referee, you want to you, you, you want to start refereeing tomorrow. You don't want to wait so long. How long from the time that I start this process, how long before I can actually get on the field and referee? Okay. Once you've completed the level one course, Mornay then refers you to the regional structures. You know, we have regional coaches. So in the region, you actually do your fitness test. That is running the yo-yo. 
and you need to complete your um, is it's a a 14 because you're an entry level referee so yeah. the minimum okay. it's it's a 13 to 14 okay but so if you also, give, give or take i mean what are we talking about a few weeks or a couple of days yes. or so um basically it can be done within i would say a, a span of three weeks, three weeks and you you can be on the field to referee yeah? because you've also just got to do the uh, current western province exam you don't all you need to do as an uh, entry referee you need to write the exam you know once we know uh, you got your mark we as yeah, regional yeah. coaches it's it becomes our job to upskill you in the laws of the game okay and the doors are open to everybody everybody who wants to become everybody. a referee can can come so so everybody the... even jp even females and we encourage we've got a we, there is a lot of opportunity for young female referees yeah. to come aboard and to you come and um, ma make use of the opportunity. And you've got a great track record. I mean, if we look at Amy Amy Barrett Teron, uh, one of the world's top uh, women referees now, I mean, so we we are seeing some great um, development there in in, in women's uh, referee rugby refereeing. Yeah, and you know, Amy being a woman, you know, she will tell you she is not a woman ref. Uh, referee she's a referee she's a referee. and that is what yeah that is what we strive to do yeah you know in in the society we don't make you a woman referee we make you a referee so that you are fit and uh, for any game on the western province fixture okay so just in summary um we obviously as as, as the public we have to wait to see when the next referees courses come we're stuck with the coronavirus uh, lockdown at the yep. moment. We'll keep an eye out for when the next referee courses are available. And uh, yep. when that comes out, before that, I've got to go online, register a profile at the um, at the World Rugby Online website. And over there, I do the Rugby Ready program. And uh, then once I've got my information, I send it to Ben Teron at Western Province Rugby, um, B Teron at WPRugby.co.za. And then he gets that information and he gets me ready for my first course that is correct but um jp i just want to say don't wait till after lockdown yeah get those get those three assessments done as quickly as possible all right you know it's the rugby referee introduction to match officials and introduction to the laws of rugby get it done now okay. you know and you can work through them you know uh, systematically and you know it, it's there's no rush yeah yeah after lockdown because we need to as soon as lockdown is done we need to also just get a date a venue for the for the next um course and then you know but we'd like you know where possible you know we, we want to have these courses but we don't want less than 20 people yeah, you yeah. Know, 20 people it makes it very you know workable because we've got to split you into groups and, and workable groups in the course so definitely yeah. you know actually we're going to have to leave it at that thanks so much for chatting to us uh, we're going to obviously keep an an eye open on on what's happening with the referee society and how things are going there and keep promoting the fact that members of the public that want to join can come and join uh to become a western province rugby referee quite easily yeah thanks for the, uh, having us on the show jp all the best and you know, you can stay safe as well. Thanks, Ashley. Yes, you guys stay behind closed doors. Take care on that side. Yeah. Right, folks. Of course, Ashley uh, McKay there from the West Moms Rugby Referee Society. And then just a reminder for those of you that um, uh, have just started watching for the first time. If you're not sure about how to join the Referee Society, then SMS the word referee to 33090. Just SMS the word referee to 33090. 090 and uh, we pass it on to Western Province Rugby and then of, of course um, a Western Province can get in touch with you in terms of how to become a referee. We'll take an ad break when we come back from the break we'll continue our conversations with our friends of Western Province Rugby um, here on Cape Rugby TV. Back in a sec. Well, welcome back folks. Um, as you know we're catching up with uh, our friends in the world of Western Province Rugby via the digital medium, it's locked down and it's difficult for everybody out there. But nevertheless, uh, we feel that if we can reach out to you, then the message, the world of rugby will help everybody stay uh, behind closed doors. Um, and uh, of course, uh, trying to make sure everybody stays 
as comfortable, as happy as possible while we fight the coronavirus. We do know that many uh, of our uh, rugby fans and members are very active out there. And joining me now all the way from, uh, well, from Belhar Rugby Club is um, Ebrahim Biekes. Um, Ebrahim, we like to come on your side. Ach nee, JP, we are going on, JP. Ebrahim, um, is your Oakies busy? Is your in contact with the Oakies? Is it fun uh, um, by the, after the lockdown? Ja, JP voor ons. Ik maak um, elke dag um, met de ouders contact en vind uit of we willen, we willen oefenen of de les bezig is. Van ze zien we beginnen om te vragen wanneer we beginnen oefenen. Maar met die, met die um, epidemie wat ons in tans is, is het een beetje moeilijk. Um, de, de Bella was natuurlijk bij excited voor die liga. Um, dat is nou nogal zei dat die, dat die, die omstandigheden is hoe het is, maar was jullie recht voor Super League B? Um, ja, zij hebben precies kan gezien dat het ons bij je um, onze sponsor ons het gaat, ons het sport krijgen, ons het goed wordt bereikt met die vriendschappelijke uh, wedstrijden ja. uh, wat ons goed om te spelen. Dus so, um, ik denk ons was goed voorbereid, maar met die epidemie wat ons nou een kans is, is het een beetje voor de ons om net te jou komen. Ons, ons het daarom een klein video hier zo van, van die oogjes wat bij die huis oefen. Kom ons kijk hoe gedaan nou, dan, dan gesels een beetje deer het uh, samen met ons. Video gaan nog nogal anders zo, lijkt me die ouders, uh, geniet me nog veel, zou niet zeggen geniet niet, maar het lijkt me die ook iets daar zo achter die achter die dieren is nog steeds uh, redelijk actief. Ja, ik heb ooit ooit eens gezegd, laat me bij je concentreren op alle conditie dieren. Want zelfs als die epidemie al gaan stoppen, zal ons dieren beginnen met die fitness en zo. Maar um, bij je van de ouders is actief, het, op je ogenblik zo, so, ik denk. Als je lockdown klaar is, gaan we weer een fix op onze fitness en dan weer een wedstrijdplan. En dan hopelijk zal alles goed verlopen voor ons. Um, Ebrahim, heb je voor ons um, uh, programma gestuurd of zijn je bezig met programma op je oomlik om je fitness op te houden? Ja, ons het voor onze persoonlijke programma geen ook voor onze zelf. Dan moet ik aangaan op alle eie. Want als het programma is meestal voor ons, of wat is ons niet samen moet gebruiken. Hij heeft van die spullen zitten, dus niet die kopen om die moet niet samen te wees nie. So, wat ons sal aangaan, so sal hulle aangaan op die oomlik, maar um, as ons terugkeer sal alles, weer, uh, sal ons weer alles instit in die lijn. Right folks, a little bit of a stop start line there. We've got Abraham Bekes, Belha, assistant coach on the line with us. Um, uh, Abraham, nice to have you back. Uh, just tell us quickly, are you guys in touch with the guys on a, on a regular basis in terms of monitoring their activity at home? Yes, zei P. Uh, ons het een groep wat ons samengesteld, een WhatsApp groep, so ons communikeer gereeld met die jongmanne. Dit lijkt my, daar is nou een van die goede dinge, is die WhatsApp groep. Uh, dit is makkelijk om te doen, allemaal het een phone, um, allemaal het kan gebruik, jy moet net bereid wees om om my, om, 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 om my goed te share. Ja, ja, nee, uh, so, 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 nou net oor, gaan oor data, sommige van die jongmanne stry altijd, nie te veel foto stuur van my data, my data. Ja, daar is natuurlijk een groot ding op die oomlik, een, een, een mens, betrek je mens, dink, dat is, is so makkelijk om te doen, maar dit is nogal een challenge. Die data is natuurlijk die groot ding vir, vir die mens, om, vir die oukies, maar dit lijkt my elke nou en dan, uh, het hulle daar die apps en hulle doen alle laie creatieve video editing van hulle. Ja, nee, van hulle, dit is wat hulle so op huis dit moet sê, en met die meisies en so, so is dink, hulle sal altyd data het vir dit. <laughs> Ebram, uh, ons gaan het nou daar zo los. Um, ons hoop om vir julle, um, julle voetsporen te volg. Hopelijk is hierdie corona ding nou vinnig klaar en dan begin ons in die, met, met die leagues weer en uh, dan, well, good luck vir Bel, ha. Soos jy het die Super League B titel, ja. Ja, dankie JP vir die, vir die uitnodiging. Um, ja, en ek weet vir die ander 
um, jongelinge daar buiten sê, hulle moet stuif, um, onder die lockdown rules bly en um, veilig weer. Dankie, JP. Dankie, Ebrahim. Uh, right, folks, uh, Ebrahim Beek is there, is a folks, of course, uh, assistant coach at, um, at Belha. And uh, uh, great to chat with him. Always great to see that the guys are staying in touch with each other um, and coming up with such creative ideas, such creative ways of training at home. I love those rubber bands, the defensive movements. So it, it really is um, um, great to see what the guys are coming up with, filming their training and doing their edits, etc. Uh, we're going to be back in a sec. Um, when we come back, uh, we'll, we'll catch up with some more of our friends of Western Province Rugby. But folks, uh, crossing to me now is, of course, um, Charles van Wyk. Uh, Charles is the head coach at uh, Kylemore. And uh, we were trying to get a hold of Charles last week, in fact. And, um, well, we got so overloaded and we ran out of time, as we're probably going to do again tonight. But um, uh, we're catching up now with uh, Charles van Wyk, the head coach at uh, Kylemore. Uh, Charles, um, how do you think about Yeah, good, JP. Um... Het ons het een dankie vir die geleentheid om op Cape Rugby vanavond te wees. Um, ons het ongelooflik een goeie, goeie pre-season gehad, twee ongelooflik een goeie um, opwarmingswedstrijde, maar die uh, COVID-19, jy weet het nou, die ouwens so'n bykie slecht geaffecteer, maar so ek vir die ouwens ook verduidelik, het is nie net vir ons klap, het is vir al die ander klap. So wanneer ons weer by mekaar trek, dan moet ons ook weer van vooraf begin en um, vir die stepping stones en plek sit. Um, Charles, die, vertel ons bykie van die pre-season, jylle het ook een paar friendlies gespeel voor die, voor die liga begin, wel, voor die COVID. Ja, nee, ons het, ons het uh, twee, twee gespeel, ons het, ons eerste friendly was gewees teen, teen Belhaar, um, daar was een groot opwachting gewees vir, vir teen Belhaar, en twee jaar gelede, toe was hulle nog uh, Super A liga gewees, um, en hulle is nou twee jaar tans in, in die B liga, so dit was ook baie groot wedstrijd geweest vir Kalmoor, um, en ons het om deurgetrek 16-12, so dit was, jy weet, daar had die ouders gesien, ons kan competeer met, met ongelooflike goeie spanne, en ons, ons hoor daar, so ons het in die begin van die jaar gesê, jy weet, dit is die jaar vir Kalmoor rugby, waar, waar, waar ons voor en toe wil beweeg, ons gaan uit die liga beweeg, en jy kan sien, in die ouwense attitudes in die jaar, daar was net iets anders in die bewee in Kalmoor rugby geweest. Um, so daar heeft weer niet voor ons baie beteken, en ons volgende, ons tweede vriendlie was teen, um, dit was local derby geweest teen Salamors Coronations, wat ons ook 45-12 gewen het, um, so ons is op een baie goeie optrande kurve gewees, en net daarna toe, toe gebeur die COVID-19, um, ja, ja. so alle, alles so, ons sal maar nou sien wat WP Rugby, hoe hulle dit sal benader, wanneer hulle meer duidelijkheid het, wanneer dit sy soen so hervat word. Um, maar ek is vol vertrouwe in die ouwens, jy weet, tans by die huis, dat hulle die nodige werk insit, jy weet. Um, is hulle dalm, dalm, kan... ons, ons praat so met amal oor die selde ding op die oomlik, is die ookies bezig om vir jou, ek, ek, ons het een paar videos hier so van nou ons gaan kyk, maar um, is hulle bezig om vir jou terugvoering te gee van wat hulle doen by die huis? Ek meen, hulle allemaal sien natuurlijk uit dat hierdie ding so vinnig is moendlik klaar raak en, en dat die, die liga wil kom, uh, allemaal wil net rugby speel. Ja, nee, ab, absoluut. Kijk, die ouwens, jy weet hulle, um, wekelijk slag weet hulle van my, weet hulle, hulle brand om weer op die rugbyveld te wees, die ouwens mis mekaar, um, jy weet hulle, hulle wil weer, jy weet hulle was op so'n groot haai gewees, um, toe, toe ons voor ons nou weggebrek het met die COVID-19, so die ouwens brand om weer op die veld te kom en laat ons kan, kan voortbouw, maar die ouwens is dan bezig by die huis om, om hulle oefeningen in te sit, dit is baie challenging vir die ouwens, dit is baie ja. uitdaging, ja. dit vat baie, baie self, self motivation om die selle harde werk in te sit, maar weet ek het al vir die ouwens um, paar oefen opties deurgestuur dat hulle kan bezig by, by, die, by die huis en van tyd tot tyd dan kijk ek op die ouwens en, en ek hoor hy, maar is, is julle daarom bezig om om een bykie, om, om julle werk in te sit, jy weet, om julle conditionering op standaard te hou, ja. en soms julle ouwens sê, coach, coach, ek het een bykie slap gele, maar ek probeer, ek werk nog van die ouwens, werk nog tijdens, tijdens die COVID-19, so, jy weet, hulle kom laat by die huis, so, jy weet, die ouwens is dan eerlijk, as hulle vir my sê, coach, ek sik hulle bykie, maar van die ander ouwens, jy weet, hulle, 
وفي الوقت وفي النوفا عرفت باري عايش على موتيفير موتيفير ما بروح فقار. وزيد على ما في تويت فيديو از فاني اوكي شي صوفات باري عايش وفن كومونس كيك خوك انا الايستي انا ان ان فاني دي فيديو كلاس او فتي الونس بيكي فان فيريت اس ان فاتل. كان سين اني انا فيديوز حتى الوقت اوف ماي كستير في تي في اون سيدي نور اف اف ذا فيرك ان في تي في اون سيدي نور اف 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 in Werken, Werken zijn krachtspieren. Nou, hier is nog een van jullie ons wat baie creatief is en wel, hij lijkt mij iets om er die toerusting bij om ook. Jan Kijkert, hij speelt voor een slot en hij kan uithouden op flank ook. Hij is een ongelooflijke harde speler en hij zit bij en bij die ijs. Hij heeft kracht, kracht, oefeningen, jaringsoefeningen. Zo, hij weet in het lijkt om zulke mannen in je groep te hebben, want dat moet je veel ook aan de spelers. Hij is ons laatste ene wat ons van die spelers ingekracht. Luciano Oktober is een van Kamerse Vleels. Is een van die nieuwe lange wat hij daar die eerste span oefen voor Palet. Hij hij laat zich nog een twintig speel. Ongelooflijk baie goeie spoed. Baie hij de baie goeie afgelap en hij is ook een van die mannen wat hard bij de ijs bezig is op werk. Zo wanneer ons weer mekaar kom, dat dat die mannen net kan voortbouw. Challenge los om daar zo. Ik zie je al je gereedschap daar zo achter jou om 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 bij je huiswerk te doen. Als je je er gewerkt nu nog eens op je dak, daar is een hek zo en een hamer en een beitel daar op je rak achter jou. Ja, nee, ik zeg, ik sta nu bij die werk, zo. Maar dank je JP. Ja, nee, essential services gaan daar zo aan. Zal bij dan kun je ons gaan weer met jou. Een contact wees en een uitvind hoe dingen aan jullie kant gaan. Charles van Wijk, of course, head coach there at Kalemo. Nice to be able to have a conversation with Charles. He's working at the moment, essential services, and staying in touch with the players of Kalemo. And from looking at the videos that we've seen, the guys certainly look like they're staying active and staying fit. Of course, we're coming to you remotely at the moment, and we're speaking to you. Uh, our, our, our friends of club rugby across the distance. So excuse the nickels here and there, or excuse the the sort of the the, the glitches and jumps. But um, nevertheless, uh, we're we're making the best we can. We'll see you guys after the break. Don't go away. We've still got lots more of uh, friends coming up. We're catching up with our friends in the world of Western Province club rugby. Uh, joining me now from um, Vineyards is the head coach of Vineyards. Aslam Abrams. Um, Aslam, um, how are things on your side under these difficult conditions? Uh, JP doing well, looking after myself, staying at home, going to work now and then, but otherwise I'm doing fine. Uh, just tell us about the players. Uh, are you guys reaching out to the players? Of course, as we know, it's locked down. The guys have to stay behind closed doors. Um, are you guys in contact? Yeah, we're definitely on contact. We've got a WhatsApp group where all the guys are on, especially the first team, second team group, where the guys got um, um, every day our fitness coach sends something out so that the guys can practice at home. Um, so, so you guys, have, tell me, that, that sounds like it's quite structured. You've got a head coach, you've got a fitness coach, you're sending out programs. It sounds like your management team is staying on top of things. Yeah, we're trying to get there. We're trying to be semi-professional, getting into the professional side of things. Um, we're going to start with our senior team, working it down to our juniors. Due to the fact that we've got juniors under 17, under 15, and under 11. So we're starting on top, getting it straight to, to, the, uh, to the juniors as well. 
the junior structure at Vineyards has been been growing every year. You've got uh, a lot of um, uh, youth activity there. We've seen some festivals already this year. Yeah, definitely. Um, um, I'm, I'll see, I'll see a guy there, Muhammad Patel. He's doing great. Um, last week, Thursday, uh, we reached out to the families that don't have food on the tables. And we took some of the kids with that got food on the table so that they can see that we need to get, we need to take hands and help each other. And with this as well, they are starting to love each other. And this is what we're trying to do by the years. That's, that's fantastic. I wasn't expecting you to, I was expecting you to tell me all about rugby, but what you're telling me is how the club is um, operating as a sport club, but reaching out to the, to the community. Firstly, we want to bring love back into our communities, into our players. Rugby will come at the, at the latest stage. Winning is nothing at this moment. At this moment, we need to help each other to get where we are. Um, like we spoke at the beginning of the year, we don't want to work to go to Super A. We want to work to get vineyards, one, one of the strongest teams, not rugby-wise, but family-wise. We want to become a family here so that people can join us, join the family, and not join the rugby club. Um... Aslam, I th I'm, I'm really impressed to hear what you're saying. I think um, I what you're talking about there is you've got a strong base. If you if you build your community, you build your membership, and you, you look after your family environment, uh, the activities will come from there. Uh, that, that's certainly what it sounds like. Yeah, definitely, JP. I mean, we've got a strong uh, management at this moment. There are 20 guys at this moment. Just today, we've got a gentleman there asking us, if he can join the management, not a vineyards uh, member, not a rugby mad guy, but he wants to join the management to help us reach out to the people out there. So obviously, we won't say no to him. Uh, come, come join the management as well. That's great. Aslam, uh, let's just talk a little bit about rugby. Um, vineyards, is, we, we've been looking at the, at the graph. I mean, if you look at the graph, the club is just getting stronger and stronger every year. It must be disappointing for you guys, of course, that you're not playing um, yet because we've seen you guys already in 2020 have some very interesting um, friendlies. Yeah, definitely, JP. Um, firstly, we wanted to get our fitness up to standard. We got there like two or three weeks before the friendlies where I wanted to be. And then we started getting our game plan together. Um, like you said, the game just before lockdown, we got some structures in and we had a great win there. So obviously the guys is a bit sad about everything, but we accept that this is a worldwide problem and we accept it where we're going to at this moment. Let's focus a little bit on some of the players. I'm sure that if they're putting all that hard work in behind the scenes, they, they will want people to know that they, they are training so hard. I'm going to show you one or two video clips here. Uh, tell, me who, tell me who we've got here. It looks like you got a couple of uh, big guys in your in your team there, Aslam. That's Conrad Mantas Peters. Conrad Mantas, he's got that's some, our first team lock. He's got some guns on him. Yeah, no, definitely he's a beast. <laughs> <laughs> Zubair Duplessis, that's our center, and also Salman Murad's uh, cousin. All right, they look like they've got a bit of space there at least to, to do their fitness, so I'm expecting them to come back with lots of cardio. Okay, it looks like we've got some, some of the youngsters practicing their ball skills as well, not just exercising. Yeah, that is, that is our uh, under-13 fly-out. So we get, like I told you from the beginning, we try and get everything through to them as well, so that they can practice as well. I think that's fantastic. <laughs> well, it looks like the guys have got the apps busy going there, all the little video editing. Let's have another look. Uh, 
um, welcome to you. That is our flyoff center doing 10, 12 there, uh, trying to get some fat that he got in the last few weeks from there. <laughs> is that a worry for you? Is that a worry for you that the guys are going to be eating too much during the lockdown? Uh, definitely, but our fitness coach, uh, um, every two, four days, they need to send him his the kgs, how much they weigh, and all that stuff. So he's on to it. So, uh, I mean, I'm just phoning him to ask him, listen here, what's going on, what's happening, weight-wise, and he's up to standard with all this stuff. Aslam, we're going to leave it at that. I'm hoping to cross to you guys again soon because we're looking to do a feature on the history of clubs um, and vineyards, is of course, um, uh, on, on our radar that we want to talk to you guys about uh, vineyards and some f old photographs and some old videos and that. And we're going to need someone from your neck of the woods to, to, to stay in touch with us. No problem, JP. Thank you very much, eh? Right, folks, we're going we're gonna to leave it at that. I'm going to um, now cross to Percy Hendricks and say goodbye to Aslam. Um, Aslam is, of course, uh, head coach there at Vineyards. And i tell you something, if there was ever a team in Super League uh, in, in, in Western Rams Rugby that was hungry for the season, and that's just been getting stronger and stronger, and they kind of remind me of Unimol, then that was, that's Vineyards. Vineyards really, and they're doing so well, of course. They're looking at sponsorship there. We know that National Security is, in fact, sponsoring Vineyards. So they're doing really well. On, um, on, on the sponsorship there at Vineyards. And what's more is I'm going to be catching up with one of the uh, star players and a stalwart there. But he told me that it was his last season and now it's the lockdown. Tamir Murat has been playing for a very long time at Vineyards and we're going to bring him into the show and uh, catch up with him, stalwart of Western Province Rugby. Folks, uh, joining me now um, on the line is um, Percy Hendricks. Percy is, of course, uh, the head coach at Goodwood. But we'll get him to tell us a little bit more about that himself. Um, who like Dunga and Yaukant? Ach, it's going good, JP. With the lockdown, it's going to go right. It's going to go right. It's not that we're going to get to the um, Percy, for, for the players that are now out of the way, is you there in contact with the players? Yeah, we are in a group. Waar ze elke dag video's met elkaar deel en actief blij. Ons doet ook een programmetje daar op onze WhatsApp groep. Voor onze spelers om te volgen. Zo drie dagen een week om fucks te blij. En ik doe hoe dan er het natuurlijk van je huis. Percy, vertel ons gewoon een beetje voordat ons kijkt naar een van je spelers. Zijn video's is zo. Um, of een paar van die video's waar je ook eens ingestuurd hebt. Um, uh, was jullie daarom recht voor, uh, voor de 2020 season? JP was het drie van ons vier vriendjes gewend. Die vier die in het was uitgezien, was NTK bij de huis. Dat is waar ze zo gemeten het. Krijg van tenen, het was, uh, het was redelijk goed gedaan in die spannen voor het. Onze fuckset, denk ik, was, was, wat ons hier uit drie games gebracht het. So ja, ons en ons is dan weg geweest, ons is niet gekeken. En dat is eigenlijk een soort van een demper in ons uh, seizoen, die COVID-19. Uh, want ons het ons ons graag wou gemeet het in die NPK. Ja, dat lijkt my, die is so amper soos een derby gewees het vir julle, ne? Baie groot, ja, vir ons, ja, en vir hulle, baie roemers in die ronde, en natuurlijk, uh, klip gooi hier en gesê, wie gaan win. Ja, so, ja, soos ek sê, dat is, dat is, dat is, dat is net so oorke die treinspoor, dat is like, kind of so wees. Uh, Persie, ons het daarom ook so een paar videos wat ingekom het van, Van, van die spelers, um, uh, kom ons wees gaan gaan vir jou die video en dan, dan praat, uh, vir sê vir ons wie is in die video. my ons het daar so vir, vir Clyde Gordon. Um, Clyde is natuurlijk een van julle, uh, hy, hy, hy lead natuurlijk van die front. Clyde sit daar so met sy, 
sy op sy bicycle met sy ou boel ook, ek het lang klaas een van die tools gesien. <laughs> ja, die oons, soos ek sê, die oons hulle bezig met huis, en enige ding wat jy kan gebruik, al as het waterbottels is, as jy nie dambels, enige ding gebruik kost, net om in die goud te blij, want ja. jy weet, is nou moeilik om by makro op enige plek te wees. Ja, en ons sien ook hier so vir Fabi en Vielander aan die gang daar so. Ja, Fabi en een van onze senior spelers, um, by alle paar jaar by Groot, hy doen om daar in die huis, um, en, ja, Kurtli van Vieren en, 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 en Mordnay Mitchell ook in die video? Kurtli van Vieren hou nie die man op, op hulle voete, hy is dus uh, eerste span af, achterlijn africhter, so hy hou die manne daar op hulle voete en challenge hulle gereeld, hy is meer die fikse van ons door die coaches as jy so kan sê, tussen ek en hy en, en Angel of wat boy. En dan sê, um, Wayne Hendricks is ook hier so aan die gang? Sekerlik, en wat die ook hier is in die klap op eindig oomlik, elke dag een uh, video, hy challenge om self en challenge allemaal op die groep, uh, ja, hy is hier ook wat, 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 wat die op eindig oomlik is aan die af, met die fuckshit videos. En um, jy het ook gepraat van Angelo Witboy? Voorspele afrat, ja. Voorspele Angelo is voor Sjaas het een uh, video ge- of twee gemaakt. Ek as het nou, maar nog nie ene gemaakt, he. Was bieke so wees. So hulle allemaal, hulle allemaal wacht vir my ene in spanning. Ek sal maar sieke hiet een volg vir my ene keer die is te. Uh, Persie, ons lijn spring nou bieke so rond, die so rond en bond, en uh, die data, ons weet, mens weet nooit of ons een goeie signal of een slechte signal het nie, dis maar bieke van een gamble. Maar luister, ons wacht vir jou video, so dat ons van alle ander coaches kan jou, jou video wees. O, oh, dis, dis een groot uitdaging. <laughs> ek denk, daar is baie fikser as ek, maar ek sal, ek sal definitief so maak, en het in die DST vir julle. Persie, ons los om daar, so ons, ons sien uit om weer binnenkort met jou te praat. Um, dat ek, ons weer is moeilik onder die lockdown, um, en ons sê maar vir die spelers daar so buiten, uh, uh, ons stuur alles van die beste, en hulle moet veilig bly, en achter die deur bly. Achter die hek, sal ek sê, die deur is een bykie te nabij, maar uh, dit is die boos uitstuur, en ons hoop ons kom allemaal gezond die deur, en, en, en kan die seizoen verder aanpak. Alright folks, that's of course a wrap from us here at uh, Cape Rugby TV, we will uh, keep crossing to you uh, as often as we can, here on Cape Town TV, and of course uh, via Facebook on uh, the live stream, so keep an eye out for the live stream. Uh, we will leave you now, with um, the musical video that the DHL Stormers did together with some friends. This is a mix of the uh, Johnny Clegg song, The Crossing. Enjoy it. We'll see you again next week, same time, same place, here on Cape Rugby TV. Remember, stay safe, stay locked down, and of course, remember, stay isolated under all circumstances. Bye-bye. Someone else's dream awake All the words and truth that were spoken That the wind was blown away Oh, it's only you that remains with me Clear as the light of day Oh, see oh, see
takes a beating without making a sound And through swollen eyes He sways and he smiles Cause no one can put him down Inside my boy looks up to his father For a sign of an approving eye Oh, it's funny how those once so close are now gone But still so effective 